illustrating life's most important moments for more than 30 years. You never know where something's going to take you and who's going to see it. For Tim Cortez, a local commemorative artist, art was always a part of life. His parents and family saw his interest and nurtured it along. He especially remembers time spent with his grandmother. My siblings will be over here playing. I'll be in the corner with paints and crayons. And she was a school teacher, so she had all kinds of supplies. So whenever I saw my grandma, it was art time. Cortez grew up playing hockey, graduated from Duluth East High School, and went on to play hockey for the University of Minnesota in the Twin Cities. His love for sports was at the center of his career as an artist. I started getting commission work from my friends who are playing now in the National Hockey League, who have won Stanley Cups and who are getting inducted into Hall of Fames and stuff. They said, hey, Tim Cortez is an artist. Do you think he might want to have him do a, you know, a commemorative piece for you? And that it took off from there. That was 35 years ago. Cortez has gone on to create commissioned pieces for the Twins Championships Club at Target Field, the 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team, and the late Reggie White of the Green Bay Packers. He also has pieces across the country, including one that now hangs in the Smithsonian Institute. It was commissioned for the 30th anniversary of the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon. The fine folks at the Smithsonian saw that up at the Iditarod, and asked me if they could include that in their co permanent collection. Absolutely, you can. <laughs> Some of Cortez's most inspirational work can be seen outside a multi-purpose sports and community center in Duluth's Lincoln Park neighborhood. Pat Francisco and a group came up with the idea of um, what, what was this, the Heritage Center built on? What was the premise? And what they came up was with a values project. We got a hold of Tim and he was up to the challenge and he did this incredible job of putting these giant pieces of public art across our community uh, center here that says says who we are you know it says uh, this is who we are francisco hears from a number of people in the community who want their children to be great athletes but what they really care about is building character do they have a sense of commitment are they a team player do they have integrity do they have courage? You know, that's what we hope for our children. That's what we hope for our grandchildren. That's what we hope for our community. That's who we are. So we've had a lot of great reaction. And of course, they look and see who did the work. And of course, Tim Cortez. Cortez hopes those values will shine through on some of his recent work. Five wall murals for his alma mater, East High School, with one already completed in 2018. They have a big atrium in there with huge wall space. So what they wanted was East High School through the decades. So each piece will be a decade from the 50s on. So they commissioned me to do that all the way around. It's a five year long process, probably longer now because COVID really set us back two years. It was supposed to be one a year every year, but I'm working on one for the end of September right now. Cortez says his success could not have been possible without family by his side, especially his two children and his wife, Kathy. Thank God my wife believed in me and stuck with me because there was, so there was times when it was tough. But uh, we kept, kept pushing along. You got to keep working. Keeping memories alive through art. In Duluth, Aaron Matha, Northern News Now. His family got a hold of me because those kinds of... There's so many different colors in a, in a face like this right here. All these, I order lots of. <laughs>